official um, virtual link competition took place just right now during universal break. This is a competition that basically invites students across the college, whether you be a science student or social science student or a technology student, to get involved um, and basically build a bridge out of spaghetti and glue. You're given the materials, every team is working on the same playing field, and the idea behind it is that you want to build a bridge that can hold a lot of weight, but also have a good ratio. So a, a ratio of efficiency based off of the weight of your bridge versus how much it can actually carry. Our ratio is uh, 60. Yeah, 60. Yeah, it was 60. Yeah, it's a good ratio. Like our, our bridge didn't weigh that much, yeah. and we put a lot of load, so it gave us a really big ratio. How did we build it? We actually look up pictures on the internet, and we're yeah. like, okay, cool. let's see what really works. We saw the artwork, so we made that. But then when it was time to stick these together yeah. with like a stick, a spaghetti, it didn't work. So what we did is we just took the two parts on each side and just like yeah. stuck them together. But that was like planned last minute and we we're like, okay, let's just put them together. And we add these little parts here. Yeah. Our ratio for our bridge is 33.3. Uh, what we think about the bridge, we think it's, it was really strong. Uh, we, we were pretty surprised, right? And uh, kind of did a last minute actually. No, we weren't expecting it to hold as much weight. We had other ideas initially and then the triangles probably added a lot of the support to our bridge. Show us your bridge. The remains of it are left over here, and yeah. you can see all the triangles that are, were left in it. If we were to fix anything about it, maybe reinforce the middle. Yes, a lot more glue broke. probably. Yeah, it broke right in the center. Could apply more glue. But we were told. <laughs> My bridge weighed a lot, so even if it held a lot, it wasn't that great. You fail a lot of times. <laughs> you, you try things, you test it. The way I did it was I made a mold and I put glue and kind of slightly boiled spaghetti to try and curve it. And uh, I drilled holes and I cut it. Actually, today it was way too, it was over the limit, so I spent like two hours cutting away with a, an exacto. <laughs> uh, my ratio was 40. Before, I think did we expect it no we didn't expect it because like we, we made a prototype which only held like 500 grams but then we doubled everything so I did have a lot more so we doubled our idea was that we would put as much as possible on the side frames to spread out the the weight and this is the dead bridge the third most efficient bridge goes to Team number 15! Oh, sorry, certificate. Not piece of paper, certificate. It's prestigious. So, for the second most efficient bridge is Team 27. With the remnants of its bridge. Awesome. I'm scared of breaking it. We follow with it. Team number 18. Team number 18 has also won the bridge that is able to hold the greatest load. We were all nervous, but in the end, I think it was it was really fun and it was a really enjoyable time. And I would recommend uh, anyone else to do it too. Uh, we'll have this again next November, so November uh, 2016. I really got, I really encourage you guys to come and take take um, take part in this competition. It's a lot of fun. Um, unfortunately, uh, there's not much left to show you right now, but hopefully there's footage to go with this. So uh, yeah, that's that's basically it. Um, not much else to say. So thank you.